Hey guys, Dr. Axe here, doctor of natural medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the seven ways to get rid of varicose veins fast. And I'm telling you, these diet tips, these supplements, they are very effective at getting rid of varicose veins and also beneficial for spider veins as well. But here's what you've gotta know about varicose veins is it's typically caused by weak structure of the uh, connective tissue and circulatory tissue. We've gotta really work to strengthen that up as well as increase circulation. Those are the key things we need to do in order to get rid of varicose veins. And step number one is use essential oils, especially cypress topically. Cypress essential oil helps increase circulation uh, of the area. And so what I recommend is doing a mix of cypress oil with witch hazel daily, typically about five drops each. You're going to rub it on the area three times a day. But again, essential oils such as cypress oil are very effective with varicose veins. The next thing you're going to do, step number two, is exercise. That's right. Any type of exercise is beneficial, but especially weight training or burst training on a regular basis. We know that exercise improves circulation. It also helps enhance and strengthen cell structure. And so I don't have necessarily this one perfect type of exercise, but really just get out and exercise 20 to 30 minutes every single day, or at least five days a week. So again, uh, and, and walking is good and that can be somewhat beneficial, but ideally you're gonna be working up a little bit of a sweat, whether that's weight training or burst training or getting in the gym and doing a spin class, but getting out there and exercising, another great way to help you get rid of varicose veins. Now the third step is wearing compression socks. We know compression socks, um, you can do this especially while exercising, but getting compression socks, especially if you have them, let's say, on uh, areas such as your calves and leg muscles, we know that compression can help. And then the next thing here, and this is probably the, one of the most effective things you can do in terms of diet, but consume more antioxidant, uh, antioxidant rich foods, especially bilberries. Now you can get bilberry in a supplement form, and I'd recommend taking about 500 to 1000 milligrams of bilberry extract daily. But we know bilberry is very effective as well as horse chestnut, another one, at actually supporting that area. But bilberry and horse chestnut, but other berries are great as well, such as blueberries contain resveratrol and bioflavonoids, which really help in healing those areas uh, and strengthening the connective tissue. So again, bilberry is probably the number one antioxidant food though, when it comes to helping heal varicose veins. The next thing you wanna do is consume a diet rich in collagen. So that's a diet rich in bone broth. We know collagen helps support connective tissue. And if you think about this, as you start to age and get wrinkles, the biggest reason you start to get wrinkles is because your body stops producing as much as it's of its own collagen and it doesn't have enough collagen. And so that's why you start to wrinkle versus if you get uh, more collagen, it's gonna help tighten things up. So it's a similar thing. Collagen helps with connective tissue structure and tightening and firming things up. It's why, again, collagen and bone broth are so great for getting rid of wrinkles, getting rid of cellulite, but also varicose veins. And so you want to start doing a bone broth diet and drinking a glass of bone broth uh, about eight to 12 ounces, two to three times daily, doing bone broth soups. You can also take a bone broth protein powder or a collagen protein powder. Doing these things on a regular basis is really so beneficial when it comes to supporting healthy connective tissue. And last but not least, another thing you can look at doing is something called prolotherapy or stem cell therapy. And stem cells is where they actually remove your body's own stem cells from your own hip and then re-inject it to an area. You can also do something called PRP, it's platelet-rich plasma or, pl or prolotherapy in an area, but this helps in regenerating and healing damaged tissues in that area. So you can look up a stem cell or a PRP doc in your area, just look up PRP in Nashville or Orlando or Los Angeles or wherever you live, and you can find somebody, and specifically you might look for somebody that does PRP, that's platelet-rich plasma, that's where you inject your own, they remove your blood, they actually inject your own platelets back into the area, which helps the area heal. So it's another cutting edge thing most people haven't heard of, but if you have more severe spider veins or varicose veins, it's actually a very effective treatment for that. 
uh, in that area as well. And one other thing here I mentioned earlier with the essential oil, cypress, witch hazel is also very effective. So mit mixing witch hazel with cypress, using that topically, a very effective treatment. If you wanna get the best overall results, use all of these things I've talked about when it comes to getting rid of varicose veins. And if you wanna learn more about how to get rid of, rid of varicose veins, visit my website, drx.com, that's D-R, axe.com. Also, if you want to learn more, more about natural remedies that can help your body heal fast, hey, make sure you subscribe here to my YouTube channel. Hey, this has been me, Dr. Axe, talking about natural treatments for getting rid of varicose veins. Mm -hmm.